Hello and welcome to Hack Stuff Now, the show that teaches you how to hack stuff now. Gosh, I wonder how he came up with that. Anyway, today I'm going to teach you how to hack Pandora to allow you to download any of the songs that it plays. In order to do that, you need the Mozilla Firefox browser, which you're going to get by going to www.mozilla.com forward slash Firefox. You're going to download and install it, which I'm not going to show you how to do because I already have it installed and it would be kind of pointless for me to reinstall it when I already have it. I'm going to assume that you're at least tech savvy enough to install it. Second thing you're going to need is Firebug, which you're going to get by going to getfirebug.com. Gosh, I wonder how they got that name. <coughs> anyway, you're going to click on the Install Firebug for Firefox button up in the upper, in the upper right hand corner which again I'm not going to do because I already have it installed. Once you've done that, you're going to go to www.pandora.com which is a free music radio guess what you like type website. I'm going to mute the first song that plays because I don't want to violate copyright laws or anything like that and what you're going to do is open Pandora which is usually a little cockroach that's orange down here in this case, there's an error on the page. We're going to click on the error, but we don't really care about errors. What Firebug does for tech-savvy people is it shows you all the building blocks that a particular site has. So whether it's HTML, code, scripts, whatever, it doesn't really matter if you're not that tech-savvy, but web developers use this to design sites and test code and all that sort of thing. For us non-tech-savvy folk, we're going to just worry about the .NET the net tab, which shows all the server requests that a site makes to a particular server. All this junk is pretty useless other than to say, you know, it downloads images and music files. And, hey, music files! That would be awesome if we could, like, see that. So we're going to click clear, and I'm going to load a new music file by clicking the fast forward button. That skips to the next song, and as you can see, we've got a bunch of new music files that are, uh, well, a bunch of music files and non-music files. And to distinguish the two, we're going to click on this little size uh, tab button thing. That's going to organize everything by the size. And as we can see, there's this one file that sticks out above all the rest. It's two megabytes, while everything else is much less than that. So that's probably our MP3 file. We're going to right-click on that link and click Open in New Tab. It's going to give us a little download dialog box. We're going to click OK. It's going to download that. Next thing you're going to want to do is open your downloads. And you can see that that one's there. And it's got this really funky name. It really doesn't matter. We're going to rename the whole thing to song I just downloaded dot mp4. It's really important that you type mp4 because Pandora does not save their music files as MP3s like everyone else in the world. They save it as MP4s. Yes, we want to rename it. It's going to break it. We know. So then we click on that. And sure enough, our song plays. That is how you download a song from Pandora. I hope this helps. And if you enjoy it, please subscribe. And hopefully I will be back with updates showing you how to download other cool things and hack cool stuff.